Good morning. We're going to look at some of the um, the first of the A2 work. Now this carries on from what we were looked at earlier on in year 12, particularly to do with factor theorem. Um, there was a little bit in the work we've seen before to do with remainders. But we're initially starting off with the remainder theorem. It says when a polynomial fx is divided by ax plus b, the remainder is f of minus b over a. Uh, that's the x value that makes the bracket equal to zero. So the idea is then, I can then, and we, we looked at this earlier in year 12, we can write fx equals ax plus b in brackets times a different polynomial, a smaller polynomial, plus our, our remainder. So for example, it says find the remainder when the polynomial fx is this cubic is divided by 2x minus 1. So let's have a look how it's done. First things first, it's uh, an identity, true for all values of x, so I've got the three lines rather than two. f of x is equal, is an equation, but this now is is an identity, it's true for all values of x. When I start sticking values in, I'm working out a particular answer, and then I'll change to the equals. So if you divide by 2x minus 1, the x value that makes the bracket equal to naught is a half. So when I stick a half in, I get 1 minus 3 times a quarter plus 2 times an eighth, which is 1 minus 3 quarters, which is a quarter, um, plus 2 eighths, which is another quarter, equals a half. Simple as that. Uh, second example, so we'll look at it in here. It says, when hx, this cubic, with a k in, is divided by 2x plus 1, the remainder is a quarter. So they give us what the remainder is, but we're missing one of the terms here. Um, so in this case, when we look at it, you can do these by algebraic long division, but I would really not recommend it. The k makes it awkward, you've got minus sign mistakes all over the place, and it just makes it really difficult. Simply use the remainder theorem, which in this case, here's my first mark. If I'm divided by 2x plus 1, the x value that makes the bracket equal to 0 is minus a half, and so if I write f minus a half equals a quarter, there's my first mark. And then stick minus a half in. So I get 4 times minus an eighth, minus 3, times a quarter, minus k over 2, and plus 3. So let's have a look then. So I've got my quarter equals 4 times minus an eighth is minus a half, minus 3 quarters, minus k over 2, and then plus 3. And rearrange it makes the k over there. Uh, 3 minus a half minus 3 quarters is 1 and 3 quarters, minus that quarter there which is one and a half, and then three over two, times by the two to get k equals three. Nice and straightforward. Okay, and that's the remainder theorem. That's all there is to it. A little teeny tiny bit of it. Most of it, though, we're going to look at is factor theorem. Let's have a look at the factor theorem then. There we go. And this is what we did in year 12. When a polynomial fx is, is ax plus b is a factor, then f minus b over a equals zero. So exactly the same idea, but we get zero remain, remainder, and then we can factorize it and hopefully look to solve equations. So first example then, fx is equivalent to 4x cubed minus 6x squared plus 1. It says find f of a half and hence find a linear factor of fx. I'm expecting f of a half to equal zero. So let's have a look. 4 times a half cubed, an eighth, minus 6 times a quarter, plus 1, 4 eighths, a half, minus 3 over 2, plus 1, equals naught. Hey presto. What that tells me is that a linear factor then, what if x is a half, makes it a factor, then 2x minus 1. So if x is a half equals 0, 2x minus 1 is a factor. Okay? And then part b asks us then, find the exact values of the roots of the equation. Um, and so, I can begin to factorise the quadratic. And at this stage here, I've then got to do what we did last year, which is basically match coefficients. You can, yet again, you can do algebraic long division, but I'm matching coefficients. To get the x squared term, I think 2x times what gives me 4x cubed? 2x squared. Minus 1 times what gives me the plus 1? Minus 1. Match up coefficients of x squared, I need to have minus 6x squared, I've got minus 2 of them, I need that to be minus 4 of them, so I need that to be that. As a check, there's no x's, and that's the other thing, I've got plus 2x, minus 2x, which is fine, and that's my answer there. Um, 
there's a clue in what's going to happen next in the wording. It says find the exact values. What it means is that this quadratic here can't be factorised. So I can say that 2x minus 1 equals 0. x is a half, but they told us that. And then 2x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. x equals minus b, 2, plus or minus the root of b squared, 4, minus 4 times minus 1 times minus 2, plus 8, all over 4, all over 2a, 2 plus or minus root 12, all over 4, squeeze it in here, 2 plus or minus, don't forget it says the exact, so I want it to simplify, 2 root 3, all over 4, and divide everything by 2, whoops, 1 plus or minus root 3, all over 2. So x is a half, or x is 1 plus or minus root 3, all over 2. So we've solved a cubic equation. And last example, polynomial. Px is defined by px is equivalent to that cubic there. Use a factor theorem to show that 3x plus 1 is a factor, and then factorise it, and then simplify that fraction there. So let's have a see how we go. So 3x plus 1 is a factor. We need to show it. So I need to look at f of minus a third. And stick it into the cubic. 6 times minus 1 over 27 minus 37 times 1 over 9, um, minus 5 over 3, and plus 6. And hopefully when I press all those buttons there, uh, I get minus 2 over 20 over 9, sorry, minus 2 over 9, minus 37 over 9, is minus 13. Da, 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 da. No, it's not because it's over 9, so it's minus 13 over 3, uh, minus 5 over 3, plus 6, which equals 0. I'll come back to that in a minute. And since I've got to that, that's only one out of the two marks. I need to state that since p minus a third equals 0, means 3x plus 1 is a factor. If you don't write that, you don't get the last mark. And then part B, write it as a product of three linear factors, so Px is equivalent to 3x plus 1 times my quadratic, yet again, as before, matrix coefficients, I need 2x squared, I need plus 6, I need minus 37 x squared. There's plus 2 of them. I need that to be minus 39 of them. So I've got minus 13x there. And that gives me plus 2 minus 39 is minus 37. And check it with the x term. I've got minus 13 of them plus 18 of them, which is plus 5x. So it's equivalent to 3x plus 1, uh, 2x something, x something. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I need that to be minus 13. I could do with that being a 6 and that being a 1. And there we go. And that's my three linear factors. Uh, I'm sort of looking ahead because I've looked at part C and it wants me to simplify this mess of a fraction here. So I'm expecting at the top, when I factorise that, to be this take out the 3 and take out the x, I'm left with x minus 6. The fact they want me to simplify it, I'm sort of expecting one of the brackets for that p to have been x minus 6. That's why when I was looking to factorise there, I could sort of anticipate what's going to happen there. And my answer is 3x over 3x plus 1, 2x minus 1. And that's factor theorem and remainder theorem.